Hello, thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a shave with that 1941 Gillette Ranger Tech that I just unboxed for you guys a short while ago. I um, It came clean, but I uh, hit it with the Dawn and I didn't put any mineral oil down it. I'll do that later and do a shave with that. For a blade in it, I've got uh, the last feather out of this package and I'm using a feather blade because I've got almost six days of growth on the face and which is rare for me. I normally shave every other day to every day. I'm in that itching phase right now and I can't take it anymore. I was going to wait till Wednesday, do Williams Wednesday, but uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to do it here on Tuesday. Now, before I load up a blade, I did show you guys in the unboxing some of the quick differences. This is a first quarter 1954. This is one of the last of the 40s super speeds. They stopped making them in 54 and they started... Uh, with this super speed and I think it's what 46 47 and the Ranger Tech is a grandfather to the super speed and this is the 41 has no end caps um patent on packages down on that unknurled band and it also has the no notch and it's got the the blade holding that's kind of uh different you know you'd say gen what one Whereas the later ones had the notch. And what the notch was for was for the dispenser. And remember, Gillette was in the blade business. Now, this is a vintage um, dispenser, but I've got some Russian Gillette Platinums loaded up in it full. And that was meant to hook, and you can load change blades quicker. So, let me get this feather out of the wrapper. There's a... Uh, there's wax, so you got to be careful with the feathers. I'm ordering a whole uh, 200 of the feathers. They're my favorite blade. Now that my uh, my Russian blades are all, you know, they don't make them anymore. I uh, I'm I've got a bunch of uh, shark uh, super stainless. It's a good blade, but I'm gonna get some feathers. You can see there's the uh, oh I thought I got myself I didn't. Uh, there's them things. See how it is. Nice and tight. Blade exposures even. Everything's good. And I got this from uh, Techni Shave Company. All right. Soap. I'll go over the brush here after the soap. I've got that Colgate shave stick. And I opened up the foil on it. It's got a nice pleasant smell. I think this is from the 60s. And it's nice uh, unopened. Uh, it's it's got a nice scent. It's it's what you would think of a you know a shave stick from back then would it smell like? I've got the DS Cosmetics uh, synthetic because I've got a, what I was a lot for me and I want a consistent lather and I don't know how this stuff's gonna lather. I've got some pairs just in case if I need a you know to build up the volume on it got dickinson's witch hazel and then for aftershave i went through my all my aftershaves and this musk this club or uh, not club an aqua velvet musk seems like it's the closest pairing wise i think would work with it now this isn't colgate uh first shave stick in fact i have some of their earlier ones right here with the metal tin i've done shaves with this for you guys before and I'm happy that I got that one there all right let me get some water on the face and give this stuff a go so yeah I had to go to the post office to pick up that razor I wasn't waiting another day uh, let me dunk the end and I hope uh this uh Ranger Tech, I have no problems. I mean, I've got the 54 here. All right, let's see if that's good enough. Dunk the and lukewarm water. Let's get a lather going. I hope you guys have been good.
Got another razor on the way, by the way. A 1983 Super Adjustable 109. Been looking for an 87. That one came up at a decent price, and that was on the bucket list of razors to try. This was uh, up on the top. Oh, no, wrong one. This one was on the top, too. The only other early Gillette one-piece razor I'm looking for is a Sheraton or something like that, or an Aristocrat. Aristocrats go for big money. This stuff seems to be lathering just fine. I'm going to put some more water to it, though, because... And it's a nice neutral smelling soap. No reaction or anything like that with it. I also got a, some new shirts. I know I wear either a blue or a black shirt. It's because I used to work retail, so I picked up some red uh, shirts. All right, let's give this a try. Feather blade, five, six days of growth. Well, you look at that. Shaves like a dream. <laughs> If this, if I couldn't get this today, I was actually going to do a shave video for you guys, the Merker Future on uh, highest setting. But I tell you what, this Ranger Tech, is having no problems. Soap's good. This soap has plenty of residual slickness to it. Awesome. Oh, that feels good getting all that off. Okay. Side grain. I also got my results for my uh, 608. I got 100 on my type 1 and my type 3. So now I'm universal. With my EPA 608. Good 
Just waiting for my card to come in the mail. Well, I had a blemish there. Took the top of it right off. Hit that real quick. There we go. Septic pencil. That's what happens with me if I... I have a picture of me with a full on beard and I don't like it. I get them... them I don't get growth up here and it looks... I don't like the look of it. Put a little water to this. Stuff's thinning out good. Okay, against the grain. Making a darn mess. Hold on, let me, uh, my lather's breaking down on me. You hit it with a little, it's because I use the septic. And that's one thing you should know. If you use septic, I should have waited till the end. I just wanted to stop the bleeding. It'll break down your lather. That's at least in my, um, let me rinse my brush out here. There we go. Things have been good. I was a little disappointed with uh, Heritage Gibbs there. I didn't get no. I did not get any notifications that he got any razors in. I put two emails in, and then he puts up an Instagram post, and he only had one of the black um, razors, which I want. And I am finding this smoother than a later super speed or later 40s, especially on the upper lip. I know the blade gap's the same, but there's uh, something different with the guard, they were saying, on a bedroom blade. Very efficient razor. Wow. Where am I down here? Yeah, I can use a little touch up there. Huh. 
<laughs> that's BBS, guys. That's that's ten out of ten. Wow. I thought it was just a load of uh, BS, you know. Oh, you know, razor, razor, blade to blade. But it seems like that one's a little bit of a smoother shaver. The guards are. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. I'll take the blade out. But it seems like there's a tiny difference. Or, you know, I don't need to. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference in the pitch of the guard. There's a hump over. I don't, you know, I don't know if you can, you're probably not going to see it, but there is how it um, comes down. So, yeah, it's a smooth shaver, though. And it's nice to have one. And I consider the 40 Super Speed a excellent beginner's razor. Would this be? Um, without the, the end caps, and the, I'll tell you what, it's going to take one time dropping any razor. You know, it's not good to drop it, but because this doesn't have end caps, and took one good drop and, and uh, everything's going to be out of alignment. I would say no. The 46 would probably be better. And they stopped making this razor, if I didn't mention, because of World War II. World War II started. It's easier to make techs, uh, normal techs. Okay, Clubman. Or not, I keep saying Clubman because I'm thinking Clubman Musk. Uh, Aqua Velva Musk. Big restrictor. I'm going to use only two drops because this stuff is strong. It's got a strong citrus scent, and I'm going to cut it with some witch hazel. Oh, nice shave. Excellent shave. I'm extremely happy with this razor. Um, he's uh, TechniShave uh, on uh, eBay. Check him out. Check out his stores. He's normally got some good deals on there. Sometimes you get some like this, something like this. Normally on eBay is in the, it's, you know, close to the $100 mark. I seen one for 70 but it was a bit more. And this just came up, buy it now. So that's why I got it. I think it was like 30 something bucks. I know it's just a super speed, but I wanted one for my collection. I'm happy now to find the Sheridan. As for this shave, this Colgate shave stick from the 50s or 60s, good stuff. I, I've yet to have a um, older soap that really didn't work for me. So, no, just that one cut. And that's it. But that was a blemish. So, yeah, excellent shave. I will, uh, when that uh, that Super 109, what do they call it, the PD, with the, you know, the 80s one, when that comes in, that'll be my uh, next shave. I got a head shave coming up with the... Um, Gonna get out the lather catcher for a lather catcher head shave, and uh, so yeah, that's it. Well, thank you guys for watching. You got any comments, questions? What uh, you got any experience with this 19 with these 1941 Ranger texts? Please put them down below. Um, I will see you guys on the next shave. I hope you guys have great shaves out there. I do appreciate your comments and uh, correspondence. Have a great rest of your week. Take care out there and happy shaves.